we're going to talk about um, speech. Mm -hmm. So what are the different things that you need to consider when preparing a speech? What do you think? So there are actually quite a number of things to consider. But I think the most important one is your audience. It's really important that you know who you are going to uh, deliver the speech to. If you are going to give it to children, for example, then the way you deliver that speech would be entirely different if you were to give it to uh, adults. And secondly, you also have to understand the, the space that you have. Are you allowed to move around mm -hmm. or are you only allowed to be in one spot? How big is the room? Do you have to shout? Are you allowed a microphone? Are you allowed to just use your own voice? So these all uh, come into matter. And lastly is also, of course, your content. It's better that you know them by heart instead of reading them from the slides or from cue cards or teleprompters. Okay, those are very important things. So the audience is important. Mm -hmm. You have to know who you're talking to and exactly. then adjust yeah. your delivery. And then the space, mm -hmm. like the, the location, yeah. if you could, um, how far you're gonna walk to the yeah. audience and how big is the stage. Yeah. And then the last one is content, of course. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe before going deeper about speech, what do you think is the difference between speech and then there's presentation? Can you maybe give us a little bit of um, explanation to that? Right, so there really is a very thin line between a speech and presentation. Uh, a speech can be a presentation, but not the other way around, I believe. Okay. So in a presentation, normally there is a visual aid, mm. like PowerPoint slides, mm -hmm. for example. And uh, a speech, uh, however, is only one-way communication. So the audience only listens, but in a presentation, the audience listens, but they also learn something at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for explanation. Sure.